Welcome to Mechanoid Madness. Hi. On this example, I will show all of the features that are built into the new app. Um, what I am is I'm connected on Bluetooth already. I'm going to start it up, the program, and I'm going to say load, and I'm going to uh, state capitals 10, state capitals, and I'm going to say play it, and this will show all the features that are built into the... This is just like the first example that I showed you, except it's not using LIMs now, it's using the Raggal mode, or the what they call the Animation Builder. Um, what I'm going to do is select the wrong answer, I'll select Richmond. It will say the word. Richmond. And then loop back to Try the beginning. Again. So this Press is the blue button for Albany. Press the red button for Annapolis or press the green button for Richmond. This is just like the uh, example that I showed before, except it's not using LIMs this time. I'm going to select the correct answer, Annapolis. Annapolis. Way to go. Dance with me. Now I'm using the the app foot motors to do this. This is slow mode. I'm just going to do a spin. This is fast. Now it's doing a light show, show how to control the lights. Now, what it has is that you can put uh, buttons on the uh, tablet or phone screen. What I showed here is just a basic example of putting two buttons on the screen, up arrow and down arrow. I'll select up arrow. Something else that it has, it has something called text output. And uh, any point of the program you can put text to the screen. Like here I have just a simple message that says, I will wake you up at 7.30 a.m. If I press that, it will bring up the timer. And the timer is waiting for 7.30 a.m. And if I say skip, it will skip that. And then it will do on, the Richie, next step. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Then I use the timer to do like a snooze alarm. I think I just set it for 10 seconds. 
You can set the timer up to 10 minutes. And then it just dropped out of the program. That was that shows the entire uh, use and what the application can do. Behavior Builder. Um, let me show you the script. The first question was the Maryland, and that basic uh, what I showed before the brain buttons, and it's waiting for the brain button input. The only thing that I did different here was that uh, I said the word right after the button was pressed and then I said try again if they got it wrong where it just looped back to the beginning and did the intro again. The next step was where I'm, I'm doing the servo inputs. I asked what is the capital of New York and then it's looking for the right arm movement or the left arm movement depending on the question, uh, depending on the answer and then it will, it will loop if it gets it incorrect, it will go to the next step if it gets it correct. The next step was uh, I asked it what time would you like to wake up, 7 or 7.30, uh, and press the arrows to, to depict one way, 7 or 7.30. Then uh, I did some text output that shows you waking up at a certain time, 7 or 7.30, and then uh, I set the timer for 7 or 7.30, and then I, it, the, it waits until that time and then it plays a ragdoll mode that's wake up and then it does a snooze timer of anywhere up to 10 minutes and then it does another wake up for the ragdoll and that's basically what the entire program can do. Um, what I had to do was create some animations using the ragdoll mode and these are the animations, the intro to Maryland, uh, tells them what buttons to press, the intro to New York tells them left arm or right arm, um, the wake up 7 or 7.30 and then uh, the get up or wake up uh, animation. Soundtracks that I recorded were these, uh, Try Again, Albany, Annapolis, Richmond, so forth and so on. Um, they're, they take up 10 meg for just a simple word. It's kind of not efficient. The files, uh, the dot A's are animations, the dot S's are sound files. And that's basically the entire program. Um, let me go into my notes here. What I did is I uh, took those files out of the uh, tablet and put them into Dropbox so that if you would like you can download them from Dropbox and uh, you can run this particular program on your phone or tablet. Um, it's, it's, uh, I'll, I'll have the link in the description that shows where to get it off of Dropbox but what you'll need to do is send me your email address and I'll add it to the shared list so that we can share this folder on Dropbox. The real question is um, what is better, LIMs or the animations? The LIM, the sound comes out of the mecha brain, which is great. That makes it look like he's saying those, uh, those words. Um, the problem with the LIM modes, we can't share them. The, the LIMs are stored in the brain and there's no way to get the LIMs out of the brain right now. The, the uh, behavior builder files are small. Like for instance that first one that I did, the one that jokes, that one was only a, K, uh, a kilobyte long. It was real small. Um, what we can do though is, is uh, make a template of the LIM so that everybody can record their own LIMs. The, the, I'll explain that a little bit later in, in detail. Um, the, the other mode is the ragdoll or animation builder. The sound comes out of your phone or tablet 
which kind of takes away from the mechanoid. It, it, the, the sound comes out of this device, not the mechanoid. Um, that's a disadvantage. Um, we can share the behavior builder files, we can share the animation files, and we can share the sound files. Uh, the, the behavior builder files and the animation files are small. The sound files are huge. For instance, uh, I recorded one word 7 a.m. and that takes up 10 meg. If, if you play a music song through your music player, phone or mp3 player, that's four minutes long roughly and that's only four meg. Where this, the animation builder records and everything that you record is always 10 meg. So the, the, the program itself takes up about 131 meg, 130 meg of that program were these sound files, 13 sound files. I personally like uh, the LIMs because the voice is coming out of the brain. The recording is better. This has a better mic than your phone or tablet, most phones or tablets. Um, the LIMs are much easier to create than the animation builder. Uh, I, I like the LIMs, it's just a shame that we can't get them out of the brain. The, the app can do more. I found uh, a couple commands that weren't listed as far as being in the app that, that uh, I accidentally found. It has a if then else and a do this also command and it has a delete and copy command. I wish it had a simple undo command for when you accidentally move an element and it's real easy to do. You're scrolling through Behavior Builder and you hit an element and you, you, you screwed up the, the whole flow of the, of the, the program itself. Um, it looks like this app was rushed out and not fully completed. Uh, let's hope that it's updated soon and it has better help files. The Dropbox link I'll leave below. As I mentioned before, uh, the, the uh, folder size is 130 meg, 130 meg of that is sound files. Uh, the SC or the uh, state capital BB file is only 16k. The jokes BB file, the one that I showed previously on a video, is only 1k. Um, if you like these files, send me your email address and I will add you to the shared folder list on Dropbox. My email address is my name Orlando Dare at gmail.com and I'll put this all down in the description. Uh, it, it will take about 10 minutes to download the folder. There are 19 files in the share folder. Dropbox will also email a link to you when I add you to the share folder list. Um, I will put a, a uh, description in the, in the comments here that show where you need to copy these files to. It's basically five levels deep inside of your Android phone under Spin Master or under Save Files. Um, I will also include the Jokes BB file. I mentioned that. Uh, the Jokes BB file is basically just a template. It took your first LIM and that was the intro. Uh, you press the one button, it plays your second LIM. Another button plays your third and so forth. Um, you could use that as a template to be create that first LIM to Say, uh, press the first button for Eddie Murphy type jokes. Press the second button for uh, somebody else's type jokes. Uh, uh, Rodney Dangerfield type jokes. And, and that's just a simple example. Um, use the app DB and load and play with the state programs. And I hope you enjoyed it. You enjoy it. Uh, leave your comments and questions below. And thanks for watching.